Hello, my name is Todd Etram. I am the farm manager here at Global Growers, and today we are talking about food safe infrastructure around the farm. I'm standing next to our modified shipping container that we've converted into a walk in cooler. Two very important pieces of this unit are the AC units and how they go into the container. The first thing you're going to want to do in your empty container is cut out two holes that match the dimensions of each AC unit. You're also going to want to make sure that when you install your AC unit that you tilt it back a few degrees to allow the water to drain towards the back and outside of the container. You're also going to want to frame out some supports to make sure that your AC units are supported on the underside. To build out your shipping container walk-in cooler, you will need the container itself. We use a 20 foot shipping container that is a one trip container. It's been shipped only one time for, for use. You can also use a fully used container if you would like. The other supplies and materials are two by fours, half inch plywood, three quarter inch plywood, latex exterior paint, polyacrylic top coat, your 15,000 BTU AC window units, two CoolBot operating devices, to build it out, we frame the walls out at 24 inch centers as well as the ceiling. The floor is framed out at 16 inch centers. We then insulate the entire interior with at least three inches of closed cell spray foam, which gives you a very high R value. We then close up the floor with three quarter inch pressure treated plywood, the walls and ceiling with the half inch plywood. Then we paint the entire interior with three coats of the exterior latex paint. On top of that, we add an additional three coats of the polyacrylic top coat, which results in a very cleanable and sanitizable surface, which will pass any food safety audit. Uh, we install our AC units. We hook up our cool bots to each individual AC unit and then hook up to your power source and you have a fully functional walk-in cooler that will cool down to 34 degrees and if you have any questions or concerns you can find us at globalgrowers.org and find the food safety link.